Hey, Woodcutters, Topsaw here. Broken head on my still 131 weed eater. I run two of these, a 91, 131. All the still weed eaters are the same, but a broken head in this video, I'm gonna just go how easy it is to replace it. So to get started with, I have a five gallon bucket. I keep my line, snips, screwdriver. I also keep a nail in there as well. And then a, a bag of Amazon parts. I'll put a link to these in the description. But a lot of times you don't have to replace a whole head. So take a look at this head right here. You can see after you bump it so many times, it just starts to crack and fall apart. I don't know what these pieces are actually called. I think we call this the face, the head, and then the bump part, the nose. This little piece right here comes out. And you can just see how broken a piece as that is. This bump head also gets worn out as well. The way I pull this bump head out is you gotta twist it out a little bit. And then not only does that come out, then there are these little eyelets here that get glued in. A lot of times you lose those. In my bag of parts, I have spare eyelets in case those come out, so I could glue them back in. And then I also have spare springs in that bag as well from Amazon to replace the spring in here as well. So those are the basic pieces. We call that the head, the springs on the outset, the eyelet, the nose, and the face. I'm not gonna replace the whole head because the only thing worn out is the face. But let me show you how to pull that head off. To pull the head off, you just use a nail or any, anything that'll fit in here. And see how this thing free spins? You drop that nail in there, drops into a detent. And then this thing just spins, that's out of the tent right there. Spin this thing counterclockwise. Then it pops right off. There's that metal plate. And then you could just replace the whole head. I love steel tools and I always buy steel and I always support my local dealer. Um, and I would recommend OEM parts, but this is one place I actually just go on Amazon and buy these replacement parts because I wear them out so fast. So that nose piece just goes in, clips underneath there. That line goes through that eyelet, this line through that eyelet. Then there's that new face. Locks on nice and solid. And then we pull that string out from underneath. That's when the bump nose comes out and it'll bump out. You certainly do not have to take the head off to replace that face or the nose or any of the part, just roll the head over. I just took the head off in case you have to replace the whole thing. At still, it is an expensive part. Don't forget this metal plate. This metal plate just goes on. This thing's right here. Looking down on it, this way I'm going counterclockwise. It has to be self-tightening when it spins. So that's it there. Just snip these off. This actually little metal line cutter here could wear out. It might need to get replaced, including this whole shroud. I'm gonna tighten it back up. I'm going back in the hole here. There it is, locked in. There it is, ready to go again until the next piece breaks. So that's why I always have all of them. Again, I don't like to replace the whole head. I just replace the pieces and parts of that head because they are so expensive. All right, ready to go.